So it's August here in Alabama, and this pond behind me has become dominated with duckweed, watermeal, and mosquito fern. And these can be tricky species to control, especially because they're so small to where grass carp basically can't process them. Um, as, as those grass carp age, they just can't consume this, uh, those three species. Um, and also because they can't be shaded out through fertil fertilization or dye because they float. Uh, so basically we're left with chemical control options. Those options being the herbicides of flumeoxazin, fluoridone, and carfentrazone. When controlling the small floating plants of duckweed, watermeal, and mosquito fern with herbicides flumeoxazin or carfentrazone, it's important to treat the marginal area or fringe of the pond as these small floating plants often cling to the shoreline and also on and around other shoreline plants. If this population near the shoreline goes untreated, it would ultimately serve as a source for reinfestation. Once the margin has been treated, it's important to distribute the rest of the herbicide as evenly as possible throughout the surface of the pond by a surface application as seen here. Now these techniques do not apply to the application of fluoridone as it works as a volume treatment and must remain at concentration in the pond for at least 45 days in order to be effective. This makes outflow and weather patterns an important consideration before choosing to apply fluoridone. 